We heard about a pick-your-own family farm from Linda's friend, Brandon, and we made the short drive over to Alberta, Alabama. We arrived in a rain shower and perused the homemade goods till it let up. Take it away. <laughs> Blueberries were still in season in July. Okay. Hillcrest Farm offers nursery plants, homemade goods, and produce in their on-site market stand. Right Today we're in Hillcrest Farm in, where are we exactly? Alberta, Alabama. We're in Alberta, Alabama. And this is my friend and host for the week, Linda McGee. And she just introduced me today to Brandon, what's your last name? Corey. And Brandon not only has a, a garden and is working towards sustainability and he's a craftsperson and, and you can do anything, right? Just about? I tried it. I work at it. <laughs> and, and a great surfer. Uh, but he told us about Hillcrest, and so we had to come out and check it out because this is sort of the untold gem of pick your own farms in the area. And so we're going to talk to the owners and check it out. Okay? Sounds good. Sounds good? Awesome. I'm Laurel Hickson, and this is Hillcrest Farm. And I'm Crystal Hickson. Mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we just heard She's of... awesome. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your farm. How long have you been farming? Uh, I've been here since 1978, almost 40 years. Wow. Okay. And how many acres do you have here? 40. We're a square 40. Wow. And were you always selling to the public or were you just growing for yourselves or...? Uh, no, we started out uh, planting things to sell to the public. You pick. Um, primarily blueberries and muscadine scuppering on grapes. Uh, we also had uh, a couple of other crops that uh, quickly went away. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because uh, it didn't work with this climate? Uh, it didn't work with, it, uh, with the soils we have. We had like uh, a couple thousand peach trees, not realizing that peach trees are subject to nematode damage and in four or five years they look terrible and then they're on their way out so you replace uh, those with no we we with grass <laughs> <laughs> you specialize now crystal in uh, blueberry pick your own mm -hmm. and what else and muscadine and scuppering on grapes and then we do do a corn maze in the fall nice um, to keep people come in, give them yeah. something to come out and, and do in the fall, you know, when there's not anything really to pick. And we cut in trails and ah, so they yeah. have to find their way out. Uh, they haven't lost anybody in years. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of family farmers today that incorporate entertainments mm -hmm. to keep things going financially for their small farms, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Because family farmers don't receive any subsidies from the U.S. government. Farming. That's right. You have to adapt. Is your husband in, uh, involved in the farming? He's, yes. Is he, he is, he is as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I see chickens over here. Are you raising chickens for public? Or for eggs. Eggs for the public? Yes. How many dozen eggs do you get or? Oh, well, we've got probably about 100, 120 laying hens right now. Do you get a lot of people out to your store? We do. Oh, from yeah. We have yeah. a lot of regular customers that come year round and then um, a lot of people traveling through. How many blueberries can you pick in one of those? Uh, about eight pounds. When it's level full, it's about eight pounds. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And, and how many blueberry plants do you have? Uh, about 1,300 in the main field. Wow. And they're, they're tall. Mm -hmm. You know, taller than... It takes a tall man to pick the top berries. This is a night blooming cereus, and it's, gonna, it's got a bloom on it, so that's what I'm going to plant. Oh, awesome. Let's check this out. Oh, let me see that. That's a um, gomprina. They're beautiful. They're an annual. And you, if you save the seeds at the end of the summer when they start to dry out, you'll have seeds for the following year. They're very easy to Never stop. Oh, wow. Absolutely my favorite color in the world. That's gorgeous. Your plants are so healthy looking. And what is this? Oh, passion this is passion fruit, fruit uh -huh. of course. Beautiful. Fresh with raindrops. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And is this um, papaya? Papaya. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
This is, well, I call it uh, mother of thousands. You call it mother of millions. It's amazing how many seeds they drop. We have milkweed. Everybody should be growing milkweed for monarchs. These are crinum lilies, which line the driveway. They got kind of beaten up in all they that did. rain. They looked good for a while. I bet. What's the story, Crystal, with those uh, wooden airplanes on them? My husband builds them. He likes to work in the shop when he has time and builds the airplanes and the whirly gig birds. See, they got their squash planted on a hill right there. It does really well that way. Where? Oh, yeah. That is a mound of squash. <laughs> sure. Now see, that would be I my... Was here, I was here a month ago and it hadn't even crawled out here. You see it? No. He's detached himself, I should let him know. Well, that's a big one. Yeah. That looks... Well, that's not butternut squash, so it's just a... All right, let's see. Oh, these are the blueberry. Yeah, it's all blueberry. While Linda finalized her plant purchases, Brandon and I headed out to pick blueberries. If I had a couple of blueberry bushes like that, I'd be so happy. I've got three, and they're about this big. They just now started doubling. Doubling? Yeah, they started putting off new growth, so they're getting wider like they do, like these. And it's, it's kind of, oh, yeah. You know, I guess it's getting new growth. This is probably this year. Are blueberries like boysenberries the only have the berries on new wood? Oh, I don't know. Well, blueberry bushes are not vines. Right, well, let's see. I don't see this is, I guess it's a new shoot on that old growth. All right, let's try one of these blueberries. Mmm, that is good and warm. <laughs> Sometimes when I get a person who's uh, bill is like eighteen dollars and twenty cents. I say, oh, eighteen twenty. That was the that was a very good year, as I remember it. I did that to one fellow who uh, was standing there with his wife, and his bill was seventeen ten. So I said, it was a very good year, as I remember it. And he says, you know, I think that was the year I got married. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you enjoy most about uh, your garden, your farm? It's the people as much as anything. Uh, besides making a reasonable living, mm -hmm. you know, because it's not easy. Uh, farmers who grow row crops and have cattle have a thousand acres, you know, and they make a living. And uh, we make a living on 40 acres, but uh, after a while I figured that you could work yourself to death on five acres if you did it right. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> we got plants for Linda's container balcony garden. And when I met Brandon, he is the most renaissance man I have ever met. You always think of people being your mentor, that you're, you're the mentor because you're older. Brandon and his wife, Samantha, have been my mentor in holistic medicine, gardening, and just life in general. And I am so proud to call him my friend. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs>